for those of you who are new to guitar wiring, we've made a quick guide to some of the most common problems that we see our customers coming up against when installing a set of bare knuckle pickups. As usual with these types of things, these problems are very simple and very easy to avoid. One of the most common problems which we come across is people simply not being able to get a good solder joint. So there are a few key ingredients to getting a good solder joint. A good quality rosin or flux cord solder and a good quality soldering iron which is able to deliver the right kinds of temperatures. For installing pickups you can have a very very simple soldering setup. So often the most crucial thing is to be using a good quality solder wire. As you can see here, some solder wires can be very, very difficult to work with. This is a very cheap solder wire which came with a soldering set. It doesn't have a lot of flux in the core. It does have some, but not enough to get the solder to really flow nicely. And potentially the melting point of this solder is a little too high for work with this kind of soldering iron. This can cause two main problems. One is that you're not able to get a really good connection for your pickup wires and the other is that you have to work the solder for so much longer that you greatly increase the risk of damaging components in your guitar from the heat. If we take a look here at the inside of a pot, you can see that there's a horseshoe shaped track. This is the resistor component of the pot. It's quite sensitive to heat damage, so really any excess heat which is applied to a volume or tone pot risks damaging this track, which can really ruin the pot. So just for some contrast, Here's exactly the same pot, exactly the same soldering iron set to exactly the same temperature, but using a very high quality rosin core solder wire. As you can see, there's quite a significant difference and this wire is much easier to work with. Something else which can really help get a great solder connection if you're using original pots from your guitar, which may be a little bit grimy, is to use an abrasive just to scuff up the surface of the metal and can allow you to get a much more solid joint. Our next most common issue can come in a variety of different forms, but in general, we're talking about short circuits. This is where two parts of the circuit in your guitar are touching each other when they really shouldn't be. Some of the most common culprits for this are particularly the tone capacitors, which may have exposed wire legs such as the Jensen capacitors that we sell. If they're bent into a certain shape, it is possible to get the legs to touch areas which they shouldn't, which might ground your signal or cut certain components out of the circuit. In most cases, this can be simply fixed by just carefully positioning the components so that nothing is able to touch, but you can also use tape or tubing to cover up any possible trouble areas. Another common source of short circuits is minor soldering accidents. Quite often if you're working in a small wiring cavity in your guitar, it's easy for heat from the soldering iron to melt through the outer casing of plastic coated wires. That can expose the inner wire and become a possible source for a short circuit. As before, carefully positioning the wires to make sure that nothing comes into contact is often sufficient, otherwise heat shrink tubing can provide a really solid repair or you can simply replace the wire. And finally, short circuits are quite common for humbuckers with braided hookup wire. As you can see, the braided jacket can be quite frayed at the ends, and it only takes one of these strands folded inwards and touching the inner wire to ground the signal from your pickup and you'll get absolutely no output. Again, this can be really simply dealt with by just carefully dressing the ends of the braid, ensuring that all the strands are folded outwards. Our next common problem usually shows up with Strat and Tele pickup selector switches, but can also happen with pots as well. With Strat and Tele switches, it's very easy to overload the solder terminal with solder. It can then run down into the internal workings of the switch, really jamming things up. Hot solder will flow quite freely across metal surfaces, so it's really important to make sure that the solder that you're applying isn't flowing where it shouldn't be. And as we saw before with the internals of a pot, it's quite possible for excess solder to flow down inside the pot and onto the resistor track. The simple solution for this is just to add as little solder as you need to make a good joint. It's a lot easier to add a little more solder than it is to take it away. Our final common problem relates to four conductor humbuckers. We'll quite often see a player with a setup which looks completely fine from the outside, but they're not getting any signal at all from the humbucker. Here we can see that the black and bare wires are correctly soldered to the pot, the red wire is correctly soldered to the pot, all the other components are where they should be, and the green and white coil split wires are tucked out of the way and taped over. This is quite a common sight that we'll see when a customer emails us about an installation issue. And the question that we'll often ask is, what's under the tape? 
If you're not using the coil split wires, they need to be twisted together, soldered and insulated. They form the link between the two humbucker coils, so it's really important that they're solidly connected. When we ship four conductor humbuckers, they're ready in this format and the joint is covered with some heat shrink tubing. If you don't have access to heat shrink tubing, then using some tape is absolutely fine. You simply just need to prevent that solder joint from touching anything in the circuit. And there we go. It looks exactly the same, but this time it will work perfectly. So those are some of the most common problems that we'll see. Hopefully this will help you to avoid some of those and get a great result first time. As always, with any installation problems that you are having, feel free to drop us an email or message us on social media and we'd be more than happy to help you.